Granny squares are an original and popular crochet design that's simple and fun to do. This iconic design, the granny square, when made into an afghan, became the staple on the backsides of couches back in the 70s and 80s. This same afghan can be seen all over film and TV, appearing in shows like Roseanne and The Big Bang Theory. In this episode, I'll show you step by step how to crochet a basic granny square. Written crochet instructions can be found down in the description box. I love crocheting granny squares with all of the different color combinations. There are a million different designs as well. You will find crochet patterns for granny squares all over the internet. In this particular video, we are doing a basic granny square. Materials you will need. It doesn't matter what weight of yarn you're choosing to use in this project. I choose to use a medium weight or worsted weight yarn. If you are using a worsted weight yarn, I would recommend getting yourself a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And then of course you will need some scissors to trim our ends. And that's about all you need for this granny square project. To begin, I'm basically going to get one loop on my crochet hook here. Basically a cast on, if that's what we call it. And then I'm gonna do five chain stitches, single crochet. Once I've gotten those five there, I'm just going to create a ring by slip stitching into the first stitch creating a little loop here with a tight little tiny loop as you can see there. That's the beginning of our granny square. Now from here I'm going to crochet two single crochet stitches to bring us up to row two of the granny square. This is basically mimicking our first double crochet. From here, I'm going to add two more double crochets. So we have three double crochets there. From there, I'm going to do two single crochets. And then I'm going to go ahead and do three more double crochets into that same loop again. And I'm going to keep doing this all the way around. So we have three more double crochets here. We're going to do two single crochets and then do three more double crochets into that loop again. My yarn is tangled as per usual. Okay, now two more single crochets, chain stitches, then then again three double crochets into that center loop there. As we work our way around, we're going to do two more single stitches here. Then we're going to slip stitch into the top of the first stitch as we've made it all the way around our loop here. Slip stitch to connect. And folks, that is row one of your granny square. You can see that it's starting to come together there. If we hold out the different corners here, this is where we will be crocheting around this square here with our next color forming our beautiful granny square. I love it. <laughs> now that we've just finished row one of our granny square, I have cut off our first color here and just basically attached our new color with a knot. 
and we're going to be picking up the new color here. I'm going to be moving over to this far left corner of the granny square to get us started. This is where we will be putting a total of six double crochets into this corner here with two single crochets between them. So that's a first double crochet into that corner. The second is there. And now the third. And now we're going to single crochet two stitches. And then we're going to double crochet again three times into the corner as well. Just keep going. So the first corner is done here. We have a total of six double crochets in this corner with two single crochet stitches between them. That is a corner. We're gonna go ahead and skip three stitches, double crochet three into the next corner, repeating what we just did from the last corner I'm just going to keep doing this all the way around and then connect with a slip stitch. So we have three double crochets there. We're going to do two single crochet stitches and then do three double crochet stitches into that corner loop again. Okay, you can see that it's starting to form this square. If we pull it out, just gonna keep going all the way around until we've completed row two. Okay, we are coming up on the end of row two here. We've done six double crochets in each corner with a single crochet between them, creating this nice square. We're gonna go ahead and slip stitch to the top of the first stitch of row two, bringing it all together. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off my yarn, leaving a tail, and I'm going to be connecting my next color for row three. Now that I've disconnected my last cut color, cut it off, I've reattached my next color, this light blue, I am going, to ha going ahead and doing two single crochet stitches in the corner. I'm going to do two double crochets into that corner. Then I'm going to be doing two single crochet stitches, similar to what we did in the last row. So now we have another corner completed. We're going to be putting three double crochet stitches in that space in the center. This is where we're kind of increasing stitches as we go along these rows here. So three double crochets into the next space. Some of the strings from the row below it are getting in my way, so I'm just kind of pushing them out of the way there. So we have three double crochets here. Now I'm going to be at another corner. I'm going to do three double crochets in the corner loop here. And now two single crochet stitches to wrap around that corner there. Three double crochet stitches again in the corner loop. I'm going to keep doing that all the way around until I've completed row three. Now we've just completed row three. I did a slip stitch to connect the last stitch with the first stitch here 
and look how beautiful our granny square is starting to become. You see how there's we're forming a pattern here. We're increasing stitches and then we have this kind of corner area here where we're rounding the corner. We've got six double crochets in each corner. We're just going to keep going around like that. This is a five row granny square. So I have two more colors to go before this granny square is complete. Let's get the next color attached and keep going. Okay, I've attached our next color. It's this kind of dark teal color. I've done two single crochet stitches to bring us up to a double crochet in this spot right here. And then I'm already at the corner, double crochet in the corner. I'm going to do that two more times as usual. Same pattern and flow we've done before two single crochet stitches here and then three double crochets into the corner again. We're just going to keep going around just like this. Now we're in this space here where we're going to be doing three double crochet stitches into this space. So we've already made our first corner and we're moving right along into the center area. I will check in with you when I come up on to the end of row four. Okay, we've just completed row four of our granny square. It looks really amazing. I went ahead and cut off this dark teal color. Time to connect our next color, which is an even darker color of teal. It will kind of segue nicely from a lighter teal to a darker teal. Let's go ahead and connect this color and this will be our last row. Okay, I've connected our fifth color here, this very dark teal color. It's our fifth row in this grainy square pattern. I'm going to do two single crochet stitches to bring us up to the level of a double crochet stitch. And then I'm going to do two more crochet stitches into that same space there and then we are already at a corner. So three, again, three double crochet stitches followed by two single crochets and then three double crochets into that corner again. I'm just going to keep going around just like before. And that's all there is to it to a granny square. Stay watching while I finish up this granny square. And here we are coming up on the end of our granny square. Loving the color combinations on this particular granny square here. Turned out really beautifully. And it was a fun granny square to do. I could do a number of different things with this. I'm going to go ahead and cut off my end here, leaving a tail a couple of inches long and I'm going to go ahead and tie off a knot here. This will end my row five of this granny square. If you liked this content, please like and subscribe.